Hello, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and I'm here to apologize. I put a video on recently about how to create a template, and I realized that it was so much more complicated than it needed to be. So now I've discovered not only an easier way to do it, but one that's more flexible and, and has so many options. So let's get started. Here I just placed a regular background. Um, doesn't matter what kind of background you, you, you want to use. If you want, I have one here. There's a sky. I'm just using this for now. So I'm going to go here and find the rounded rectangle. And I'm just going to make any size. Doesn't matter. There's a rounded rectangle. And I'd like to make it easier to see. It doesn't really matter what the color is, but just so we can see it. I just made it a bright blue. Now I want you to watch this because this is so cool. File, place, I'm going to go to place a picture of somebody. Uh, this picture is from Lori Lang and it's on Pixel Bay. And I'm just going to place it anywhere on the screen. Now Instead of going through all the selection and everything, all I have to do is drag that there. You just drag it and clip it underneath the shape. And it, it gets better. You can move this around any way you want. But shapes are interesting because now if you select the layer part where, it's, where the shape is, the rounded rectangle, up on top you have so many options. For example, if I want that shape to be different, I can do that. Or if I want her to be in a circle, I can, I can make anything like that. And here, in fact, let's go back to this one. Uh, let's see. You can make any kind of shape you want. It's fantastic. And then here I can choose to pick a line color, pick a thickness. I can make that any color I want. So this allows you to do some interesting things. And let's say, let's try one more because this is interesting. Uh, for example, one of my favorites is the cog tool because the cog tool, you wouldn't know what it can actually do until you try it. So I'm opening the cog tool and I'll get rid of the stroke. Let's open, take that. So we have no stroke there. Now, I can take someone else's picture. Um, let's do another picture here. I select the cog tool, file, place. You can copy paste any way you want to. And this picture is from Joseph Monter Martinez from Pixel Bay. And I'm just going to go like that. Doesn't matter because now I'm going to clip it right under the cog tool. Now that looks really strange right now, but remember the cog tool has all these features. So if you click the cog tool up top, let's see, um, hole radius, I would go zero. You don't need a hole. Uh, tooth, you can make it all kinds of cool shapes. Look at that. Is that cool or what? I mean, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by this and look how quick and easy that was. And curvature, you can make them curvy, a little bit curve in, curve out. So there are so many different ways to do this. And like I said, if you didn't like that background, you could put it on a different background. So you can use this for product placement. You can use this for a photo template. And the best part about it is, I'm just going to pull in the same picture again. But say you were doing a new uh, a new thing, like you open this up again and you want the different pictures. Well, select the picture, that's the picture of the man, and then just open up another picture. I, don't, I only have two here, so I'll just use the woman this time. And I'll go like that. And because you put him, you had the man selected, she shows up right over the man, so you can get rid of the man now if you could delete it. But now she's in that same place. So you can constantly bring in different pictures and just touch the picture you want to replace and the new layer ends up being placed right on top of it. 
So I absolutely think this is fantastic. And as we all learn, we get better at things. I'm sorry I did the first video. The only reason I'm not deleting it is because it has to do with how many views. And I think if you delete it, I'm not sure if you lose the views. So I do apologize. Please ignore the last video. And I think this is a great way to do it. So if you find this useful, please click subscribe. Because the more subscribers I have, the more videos I'll create. Thank you very much.